This video will help you start using the Insight online learning system at City College. Any courses that are online, or partially online, like hybrid or tech-enhanced courses with an Insight page, will be similar, so once you get the basics down, you'll be able to apply the same principles throughout with any course that uses the Insight system. Open your web browser, such as Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox, and go to http colon slash slash insight dot ccsf dot edu. It's a good idea to bookmark this page so that it's easy for you to log in and participate often in your Insight course. You'll need to set aside some time in your schedule to work on your assignments, just as you would have to set aside time to come to a traditional classroom. You can decide what days and times work best for you, but I suggest that you set aside regular times that you are available during each week. I suggest you don't wait until the weekend to get started, as you may need to contact your instructor to ask for clarification or help. You should have already received an email with your login information. If you're having trouble logging in, please contact your instructor. After you log in to Insight, you'll see any courses that you are enrolled in appear here in the My Courses area on the left of the window. Click the course title and you'll see the main course homepage. You'll notice that the window is divided into three areas. There are two small side columns, one on the left and one on the right of the page. We'll get into these a little more later on. The main place to look is the center area of the course homepage. Most of what you'll need is found right here in the middle of the page. What you see now are the top block, block zero, that has general information about the class, including the syllabus, and below it, the first week of content. To open any of these resources from the homepage, just click the link. This course homepage will grow longer over the semester as more weeks of content become visible to you. Each Monday morning, new content and assignments will appear at the bottom of the page, so that by the end of the class, you'll have one long page with several weeks of content. You'll notice, just below the syllabus link are two forum links. I know these are discussion forums because of this icon before the title. Forums are a place you can type a question, and everyone in the class sees the question and responds to it by replying. So we'll use them not only as a place for you to post your questions, but also to virtually meet each other and to complete course assignments. The Messages from Instructors Forum is a read-only forum where only your instructor can post messages for the entire class to read. You can think of this as an announcements area, and messages posted here will also be emailed to you. The message may appear in your email just as a link, letting you know that a new announcement has been posted. This one is showing that there is one unread message which just means that there's been a message posted to this form since the last time you logged into the course. These unread message indicators can really help you keep track of discussion forum conversations throughout the course. The Post Your Questions Here forum is a place for you to ask course-related questions. Anyone can post a message to this forum, and anyone can reply to a post in this forum, so try to help each other out. At the top left of each week of content, you'll see the week number listed. Use this to help keep you oriented. The first item in each week is a task list. This is where you'll find all your weekly assignments. To open it, just click the link and a new window will open, displaying everything that's required for you to complete this week. You should print this page and use it as your checklist to make sure you complete all the required assignments for the week. And please, make sure to read your syllabus completely for all the course information, including course policies, assignments, grades, and schedules, etc. In addition to any class textbooks, in your Insight online course, you'll find online books. These books supplement the textbook. Click the link to open the book and notice how the page is laid out. You'll see the main content of the page in the middle. This can be text, pictures, or links to articles to read, or even videos that you are to watch. Each book contains multiple pages of material. 
To progress through the content, you can use either the right or left arrow icons at the top or the bottom right of the page. Or, use the clickable table of contents on the left side of the page. If you want, you can print out either a single page or the entire online book using the icons visible at the top of this page. Some students find this helpful, but just remember that you won't be able to watch any videos or click any web page links or submit any assignments from the printout. It can be useful if you wanted to read the text from paper rather than on your computer screen. From any page in your online course, you'll see this breadcrumb trail located in the gray bar in the upper left of the page. You can use this to navigate back to different locations in the course. The rightmost entry on the breadcrumb trail indicates where you are currently in the course. This is the online book that we're currently looking at. The link to the, just to the left indicates the next level up in the course. Clicking it would take you back up one level in this course, in this case, to all the other books in this course. Continuing to the left, you'll see the link to the next level up of this course, for example, Health 97, or whatever the course number is. That'll get you to the home page for the course. This is probably what you'll use most often to get back home. The Inside Home link takes you back out too far to where you have to choose your course again, so the course number will probably be the most useful. When you get to the last page of a book, clicking Next also returns you to the course home page. In the right side column, you'll find some additional tools that can be quite helpful. The Sections link area at the top of the column displays week numbers. So when we get to week 5 of this class, rather than scrolling way down the long course homepage, you can simply click 5 and jump right to week 5 of the course materials. Earlier, I said that the forums are a public place where anyone can post and you can reply to each other's posts. If, however, you have a question of a personal nature, you can use the Walled Garden mail system. You and your instructor both have a normal email address that you can use. I'll call this your external email account. And it might be your Yahoo, Google, or other email account. In Insight, we have an internal email system that lets you send private messages to either another student in this class or to your instructor. Please consider using this walled garden email when you have a question that is of a private or personal nature. Unlike messages posted in the forum, only you, the sender, and the recipient will be able to read the message you send through the walled garden email system. The participants link is there just so you can see all the other students who are taking this class with you. And lastly, when you're finished with your online session and are ready to leave the computer, please remember to log yourself out of the course. Just get back to the course homepage, scroll to the very top of the page, and then click Logout.